popular song. So, <laughs> the what I'm going to assess or discuss more to the point is the recent version of popular song from The Origin of Love that has been remade with Ariana, well featuring Ariana, I don't know how to say her last name so I ain't even gonna try. But I think I have, <laughs> I know that my opinion is unpopular on this in the Mika fan community. I feel like the only person who actually genuinely likes the song. Not only do I like it, I love it, the reworking. And here are my reasons, okay? First thing is that with the original, okay, so we'll call it Popular Song 1, which is with Priscilla. And popular Song 2 with uh, Ariana. So P1 and P2, okay? Got it? Good. With P1, I didn't like the intro where she's like, psychotic, bony, Mika rap. What does that even mean? That we... Sorry, but we're not like a ghetto rap fan base. So when that's in there, it's kind of like, mm-hmm, yep, okay. Um, and her wheezing, Priscilla's wheezing. I was like, girl, are you okay? You need an asthma inhaler. She's like, Ugh. and I'm like, Issa said, you know, about it, you know, last video. I, was, I thought the same thing. Yeah, so that part weirds me out. And th th that part at the start didn't really seem necessary. It just seemed like a bit added in to make Priscilla relevant in the song. Oh, don't hate me for that. Um, that's just how I feel. But the, the P2... I, I really like the way that it just starts. There's no psychotic bunny Mika rap. It's just song. And the, the sped up tempo of the song works wonders for my ears anyway. And in my brain. Not in everybody else's apparently, but that's just me. I love it. And also I really like the added beats in it. I don't know what it is. I'm not a musician. Um, so I can't be like, they added a bass. But they added something and it just makes it like I, I couldn't stop moving the first time I heard it. Like, I avoided hearing it for a while because everybody was like, I hate it. So, I heard it and I was like, oh my god, I just couldn't stop moving. And to me, when, like, when I can't stop moving, a song is really good. I was just like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and it feels really summery, the song. And... Yeah, I really like the way that the tempo sped up. P.S. I wrote notes and everything. I'm like profesh. Um, and also, when um, in P1, Mika says, always on the lookout for someone to hate. When in P2, Ariana sings that, it sounds like I was on the lookout for someone to hate. And that just, I hope people don't get confused by that. Um, yeah. Oh, and also, the thing that a lot of people have been going off about is the fact that, um, there's a part where it's like, it is what it is, now I'm popular bitch, in P1, but in P2, Ariana says it is what it is, now I'm popular-ish, because it's for radio, and also, I think she's a Nickelodeon star, isn't she? I don't know, I have no idea. I follow her on Twitter and she seems sweet. Most people in the Mika fandom hate her guts. I have no idea why. I think she's kind of cute. Um, she seems sweet enough. I've never seen her on TV or really that much. The only the only reason I knew who she was was because she's been in Glozelle's videos. So, um, what else have I got here? Oh, and the part in P2, it's at the 2.45 mark, 2 minutes 45 seconds. There's this like, ah, 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 and it's like, doom, doom, doom. And y you know what I'm talking about if you've heard it. It's, it just, I love that part. Oh my god. It's like the perfect sort of rise and fall. And I sound so profesh when I say that, but like I only say that because 
you had to do that in dancing, now I'm going to start rambling, but you need somewhere to go. And that fall in the song that was a brilliant fall, it made the end peak and the because of that it ended with a bit of a oomph. These are very technical words I'm using. Um, so yeah. Um, I really love it and you guys probably stopped watching about two seconds in when I said I love popular song the second version and I never but maybe maybe my opinion was already like a little bit because I didn't really like the original version I was just kind of like eh, it's a little slow for my liking it just sort of felt like you, you want to get into it, but you can't because it's just like, it's too slow. The beat isn't completely there. And I think the change in P2 is amazing. And it just makes me want to get up and dance every single time I hear it. Like, I'm literally in my bed like, mm, 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 mm. this is my jam, y'all. So, yeah. I loved it. And please don't hate me. But I feel, I'm usually on the other side of this. I'm like... What are you doing, Mika, when everybody else is like, oh my god, you're a genius. And now everybody's like, what is this Nickelodeon bullshit? And I'm like, so, I don't know what that says about me. And if you're Australian, which, Emily, I know you are, Ariana's voice reminded me of Nikki Webster. And I, I have a secret dream to be Nikki Webster when she was, like, 15, 16. Not, like boobs in your face Nikki now. The audience is probably just like, say so what? Anyway, just Google it. <laughs> I was about to start singing one of her songs and then I thought, no, I won't abuse your ears in that way. You can just go Google it. Um, search on YouTube, Strawberry Kisses, and you'll find it. That's what she reminded me of. But nonetheless, I think it's she's a good addition to the song. Um, she doesn't really... Her backing vocals when she's just like, Popular! Behind Mika. It doesn't actually sound that different to Priscilla's. So... I don't know. That's my thoughts on the song. And I hope you don't all want to behead me. But, yeah, that's that's what I think of it. I love it. And I can't... I love the cover art as well for the single. And I think... The, I think the song will actually um, do quite well on radio. It's just one of those songs that sounds like you could hear it on radio. Perhaps on radio in 2007, because it sounds kind of... Dare I say it? Dated. But maybe that's just a Nickelodeon star coming through, Ariana. But... I love it nonetheless. I love me some 2007 pop. Because that's when Mika started, y'all. I would have shut up. Because I'm going to fly away. Um, yeah. I love it. And I can't wait for it to actually, like, be released on Australian iTunes. So I can buy it and be like, Mika, come to Australia. So, yeah, that's all. <laughs> what do you guys think? Leave a comment as to what you thought of the song. Um... But I basically already know what you're all going to say. I hate the new version. Tell me if you liked it. <laughs> so we can be as one. Okay. Popular out.